If you're looking for a Google penalty checker, then this one is a good one and it's free for up to two sites. If you want to monitor more sites than that, you can pay for a monthly subscription. But for most people, I think two sites is probably enough. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see the link down in the description to this tool. And if you're watching this on my website, then below the video, you'll see a link to the tool. When you get there, you sign up with this form and create a new account. Once you've created your new account, I can't remember what happens next exactly, but I do know you need to connect this with your Google Analytics account because this tool will go into your Google Analytics account and it will compare your traffic before and after penalties that um, it knows about. And we'll have a look at that right now. I'm going to log in. Once you've, as I said, once you've um, signed up, you've connected your account, log in. You can then add um, some of your websites, two of your two of your websites to your Fruition account. And once you've done that, then you can check those two websites for potential penalties. Okay, I've now logged in and I'm in my dashboard. And in the dashboard, you can see the sites that you are linked with that you can actually analyze. You can see for a list of five here. The free account gives you the first two for free. And then after that, you have to pay if you want to, if you want to um, monitor more websites. The free account does have some limitations. It doesn't show you the last three months of data. So you won't know if you've, be, if you've been penalized in the last three months, then this tool won't show you. But let's have a look. Um, you've also got this impact probability over here. The higher the impact probability, the more chance that your site has been affected, either positively or negatively, by Google, Google updates. And you see this one here, 81.3%. It's high probability it's been affected. The thing we don't know is, has it been affected positively or negatively? And in order to see that, we need to go in and have a look at the details of that site. This one, impact probability, 49.5%. It's a little bit more neutral. But, you know, it's still a 50% chance it's been impacted and I know for a fact that it has. But let's go in and we'll have a look at this first website. Okay, and the first thing you see here is this graph. And in general, we can have a quick overview of how our site is doing by looking at the size and color of these circles. Date is along the bottom, percent change is at the side. And you can see here that the percent change on my graph, uh, here is zero in the middle. Um, goes down to minus 5,000% and up to 15,000%. And I'll explain why that, that is in a minute on my graph. You are likely to have a lot less, um, or rather much smaller values up here, because this this is representing what an 11,000 increase in traffic. And it, that's not because um, Google suddenly started favoring my website. That's because that... The, the date here was when I started using Google Analytics on the website, 8th of June 2012. So um, all of a sudden there's this massive spike and this tool is seeing that massive spike. It would be better if I could cut off the dates here so that I'm not monitoring the 8th of June, you know, start on the 10th of June or 12th of June or something. Okay, the, the colors of the circles. If the circle is green, then that means your site has been positively affected by a Google update. If the circle is yellow, it means there's been no impact. If it's orange, it means there's been a negative impact on your site. And if it's red, it means there's been a very bad impact on your site. So just looking at this, we can see, as I said, this, this, if this wasn't here, then these, these circles would be more up and down and we'd have a much smaller scale here. Because we've got such a huge scale as percentage change, this looks like a flat line, when in fact, this is positive and negative changes to traffic, which we'll now have a look at. If we scroll down, well, let me just show you this one first. This this is Panda 3.7, 8th of June 2012. If I scroll down to the 8th of June 2012, you can see this is the update here. This is the one that's um, that massive jump. But you see, before then, there was no traffic because I hadn't got Google Analytics installed on it. So that first number, we, this first row of, uh, row of data, we can ignore. Um, what's useful here is that next to each of the penalties, you've got this little, de well, next to most of the penalties, you've got a little detail link. And if you click that, it gives you more information about that particular update. So Panda 3.7, Panda update with fi fairly wide spread impact. Check out the blog roll. Um, that doesn't give me an awful lot of information. Let's, let's try another one. Panda 3.9. 
Okay, this is what Panda 3.9 was looking for. Would you trust the information presented in the article? Is the article written by an expert? And so on. Okay, so starting back at the beginning of my site here, we can see that we have positive and here's some negative changes over here. The, this is the probability it's been affected. Okay, this this value in here. So um, as we can see down at the bottom is a 99.8% chance it's been affected. If we look at the traffic, the traffic change was 116, uh, 116, sorry, 11,600%. So it's a fairly good, you know, close to 100. It's a fairly good chance that, you know, it was down to a penalty. In this case, it wasn't. It was down to um, tracking and not tracking. If we go to the next update here, so that one was in the 8th of June. The month here is first, depending on which country you live in, that might be natural, it might not be. It's not for me, I normally have the month second, but um, that's June the 8th. The next update was July the 1st, and we can see here that my site, this was the Penguin update, there's a 95.4% chance that the update affected my website, and the update positively affected my website, my traffic increased 30%. And we can quickly see, because it's a green over here, then we know it's positive. But it's just confirmed by the, tra the traffic change. So 1st of July, Penguin update, my site, traffic increased 30%. And on the 20th of July, there's a 70% chance that this particular update affected my traffic, because my traffic was up 24% there. Um, 24th of July, there's a close, there's 99.4% chance that this Panda 3.9 update that we saw earlier affected my traffic, because my traffic was up 109%. Then we have two penalties, the DMCA penalty, which you can get details of there. And on the same date, the June-July update with bug numbers. I'm not sure what that is, but you can find out the details there. Overall, my site traffic was down 45.9%, and it corresponds so closely to the dates that it, we've got a 98.9% chance it was down to these two penalties. So for some reason, my uh, traffic dropped. Then we've got this uh, seven result SERPs update. My traffic was down 13%. There's a 47.9% chance that that was down to the update. And remember, the orange here is it basically means negative impact. This green here means positive impact. So there's a 99.6% chance that this Panda 3.91 update uh, update positively affected my results because my traffic was up 79.8%. And then we have a couple of yellow, well, we have a few yellow items here. This is where the algorithm for fruition.net says basically that there was no impact. And if, if you have a look at the figures, it's up 3%, down 3%, up, um, down 1.6, up down 1.7, down 3.9, up 4.8, down 4.9. So overall, they can't be sure that there was any impact down to these updates. And then we're back into more updates. Panda 20, uh, 22 positively affected my traffic, Panda 22.1 positively affected traffic again, Panda 24 positively affected traffic, and then Pan Penguin 2.0 we have this negative impact and then spam query update and Panda again once again um, negatively affecting my traffic down 25% down 15% and then we have a down 9% but it's yellow which means it's not really significant that it is this woolly mammoth update um, down 2.3, up 6.1, and then we have 100% sure the hummingbird dropped my traffic by 23.2%. Now it's very, very rare to get 100% in this column. So um, it's 100%, this algorithm is 100% sure, meaning there's absolutely no chance that this drop in traffic was not due to hummingbird. And then we have a, a, a small drop, 3.8, which is not significant. And then we have an 11% drop, which is an unconfirmed Google update. Again, this is a 97% sure that this was a neg negative impact down to this update. And then we have, uh, they call it Panda-ish Google Holiday Update, 99.8% sure that this positive 35.9% increase in traffic was down to this update. And then we have a few more updates that they're not sure whether this traffic change was down to it. These traffic changes, normally when you get a yellow traffic change, it's a small change and they can't be sure that it was down to the actual update. And then if we look closer to current date, we have another 100% where my traffic was up 24.7%. Panda 
post joint penalty. I've not heard of that one. Google hit another guest blog network. Okay, post joint must be the network. My traffic was actually boosted 20, nearly 25% by the update. And then again here, entity authority integration into search snippets, mini knowledge box. Uh, my traffic was up 28%. Again, 99.6% chance that this traffic increase was down to this update. And then Panda 4 was released here on the 21st of May. And my traffic was up 60.6%. 100% chance that that was down to Panda 4. So thank you, Panda. And then Payday Loans down 13.3%. And the chance that that was down, that drop was down to Payday Loans is 96%. So it's pretty sure that that's what happened. And then when removing authorship pictures, this is when Google took the, the authorship pictures out of the Google search results, my traffic actually went up 3.5%, but it wasn't significant. Now you can see here we're missing the last three months. Okay, and that's because I'm using the free account and that's the one I'm showing you because that's the one I'm suggesting you sign up for. It's free. So, you know, I'm going to have to wait and see the more recent changes. This tool isn't actually that cheap. I think that uh, if you want to upgrade, it's something like $75 a month. So unless you're an SEO agency or, you know, you, you're a business who really needs to track this, then it may not be worth you doing. If you're just a small mom and pop show from home, then, you know, it's probably not worth your upgrade update. Larger websites, those that make a lot of money, then I'm sure it is well worth the, the time because you can track and monitor what's happening here. And if you know, for example, that you've been hit by a certain update, let's say this payday loan three update, you can go in, do some research, what payday loan three update was specifically targeting. And here we have spammy queries and see how you can adjust your site to help remove any impact of the payday loan update. So that's this tool. It's called fruition.net. And as I said, the, the link will be below. Um, below the video if you're on my site in the description box if you're on Google sorry if you're on YouTube so that's fruition.net